Hiya everybody, it's Kai. Welcome back to my channel and welcome, welcome to a brand new video. And I'm super excited for you guys to join me here in this one because today we are going to be completing the shell that a Simply Tierra has hosted, which is a shell challenge which is in the shape of a trailer. And the purpose of this shell challenge is to celebrate her 3,500 followers on Instagram and that is a big number in my opinion and so congratulations to Simply Tierra for that. But before we get into this build, I just want to say that Tierra is a very supportive and creative person and if you guys don't know her, you guys should definitely check her Instagram account and YouTube channel out because she does amazing videos and she's also an artist, like a proper artist and she paints the sims 4 pictures to life and basically sells them i think but i will link down her instagram account and also youtube channel and the um website that she sells her merch on in the description below so be sure to check her out and once again congratulations sierra for reaching 3500 and followers and that is a huge number in my opinion but anyways we are going to be completing the shell challenge and the, basically the theme for this one is a witch that is studying the medicine in terms of nature and herbs and i'm not so familiar with the types of witches or witchcraft that exist in this world but i know that one of them is one that deals with nature and uses herbs and grows herbs to like practice magic and correct me if i'm wrong in the comments if you know because i don't really know but like thinking of like witchcraft and um, nature i think the american horror story coven season shows what that is like so if you guys don't know american horror story is basically a like very good series by the director that also directs glee I think I'm not sure what um, his name is um, I forgot his name but American Horror Story is one of the famous like series I think um, and I really enjoyed it and one of the favorite seasons that they have is Coven which is basically witchcraft and also everything about witches so I highly recommend it if you guys want to check that out I'm not so sure if it's on Netflix but yeah anyways um i decided to make a theme for a witch and who practices witchcraft in that that field which is nature and herbs and i really like the outcome of this one so if you do like it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and comment something about this build if you want to but if you don't want to then that's fine too but for the general color scheme of this build i decided to go like to make it very very colorful but the main color um that is used is pink as well as a bit of blues and yellow so you will see that for the interior it's quite colorful as well but the build took me quite some time for it especially for the landscaping because even though it is quite a small shell i wanted to make it kind of look like it's overgrown and not properly taken care of in a sense that it blends in with a lot of bushes and flowers so you saw that i put the roof swatch for this build in which one of them is the grass swatch from the eco lifestyle pack and yeah basically i wanted to like put a lot of flowers on the roof with the grass swatch and i think i managed to pull it off pretty well but do let me know what you guys think in the comments of course and yeah i really like the outcome because of all that and yeah the landscaping took me a really long time because i wanted to make sure that everything was perfect um but you will see in the video that at first i put like a small pond from the debug menu of the get famous pack um but i end up like removing it because i thought it looked like too swampy or too like dirty so i didn't want to have that effect so instead of putting the pond over there i replaced the pond with basically garden stuff which is the umbrella from the backyard stuff and the packs that i use um for this one is that it is vampires and also backyard stuff pack and a little bit of nifty knitting i felt that those three packs are the closest that like basically um are related to the concept that I was going for but as you can see the trailer of this one also has kind of porches like going out of it and um, I basically used the column to add like it's like 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 small stilts under the um, like porches and patios so um, to do this cannot shorten the column but you can do this by um, 
like creating a basement under it and then removing the basement after you've inserted the column but if you want to see that you will see that after this right now um at first i didn't really know like how to do it but then i remembered that i did one of the videos in my channel that focuses on like building garages in the sims 4 so basically i use the same trick for this but if you want to check that video out you can click on the top right corner right now where i will be linking it and i really hope that it helps you if you want to do a garage in your build and yeah i pretty much like in that video like like gave my tips and tricks um to create a proper garage that looks kind of cozy and just basically nice but anyways back to this build you can see that we are starting off with the landscaping and we already like filled in the wallpaper for the structure of the home and i really like the shape of the roofs that i use because it looks kind of like magical and fan fantasy fantasy fantastical i'm not sure how you describe it but it's in that kind of genre and you can see that i put a lot of bushes on here but i will be changing a few bits um here and there because i wanted it to make it look less bulky and i also used plenty of debug items from the debug menu but uh, for the landscaping also i mean for the lot in general um i we furnished this build in the world of granite falls but then i ended up changing it to brindleton bay because i thought that the lighting in this lot which is in granite falls it looks very gloomy and dark and i didn't really like it but i thought the lot in brindleton bay would be a lot better in terms of lighting and also the placement and yeah i wanted to also put this trailer in a surrounding that is full of nature and tall trees and yeah um at first i wanted to do it in granite falls but in the end we are going to be changing this lot to brindleton bay but it will be kind of a like awkward cutscene. so it kind of looks choppy but i think you can see where brindleton bay the lot is after this but it will be i think like before i start furnishing the interior and talking about the interior the interior is pretty much very colorful and also follows the colors i basically tried to follow the colors that are available in the windows that i use that are from the realm of magic which is kind of this tainted glass i think it's how you call it the tainted glass windows where there are patterns on it and i think the windows this type of windows are the, the similar ones that i see in like churches and it's very like mosaic and also classical and i really like it um and yeah i think i mentioned it just now but for this build i use a lot of room of magic items and also nifty knitting and backyard stuff and i pretty much wanted to make the build look very very colorful and here you can see that i added in a lot of bushes and grasses from the debug menu because i wanted to make the trailer look very blended with nature and it's kind of over overgrown whereby i put the bushes up there on the roof and uh, i would and appreciate any feedback you guys have because i really want to know what you guys think of this build because i think this is my first time like doing an overgrown like a properly overgrown and hidden kind of build so if you guys have any comments please let me know i would totally appreciate it because i look forward to like see what you guys think of this build um but anyways for the landscaping it took me a really really long time to do it and i didn't record the footage for the landscaping of the back part of the house so just to let you know that the back part of the house consists of landscaping of course and also kind of this porch that is kind of the dining room of this uh, trailer because i couldn't squeeze in a dining room in this um, trailer and also a clothing line and another one is the activities from the granite falls pack i believe is the horseshoe throwing thing i don't know it's my first time using that for this build so yeah i really hope you guys will like the backyard too but if you want to download this trailer it is already up in the gallery under my id which is simmerkai and it is spelled the same way as you see in my youtube username so yeah i really hope you guys will like this build if you download it and before placing the build in any lot a 30 by 20 lot i think this is a 30 by 20 lot but yeah anyways before placing this build be sure to turn on the move objects sheet to allow the placement 
of the items that I used to place using the move objects cheat because if you do not do this maybe some of the items will be gone missing but yeah just a reminder to turn on the move objects cheat before you place the build itself but as you can see I already replaced the small pawn from the get famous pack with the backyard table over there from the backyard stuff pack and basically for the entryway it, I thought it kind of looked empty so I decided to put in a lot of like pots and plants and you see that I put a lot of uh, those empty pots from the base game I believe they are from base game I'm not so sure but I think this is my first time using them and they look very very pretty and just really like bright and vibrant and also cheerful um, and I also ended up adding the series of plants that came with the snowy escape pack and also the backyard stuff pack so basically for the entryway I made it super floral <laughs> because I imagine that the witch that lives here she deals with um, plants and nature so I decided that she would be this kind of person who really loves flowers and so she decided to decorate her trailer with a lot of pots and plants and very colorful ones but I really love the outcome of this one because even though it is just a video of a shell challenge I think I decorated it pretty well but I'm a person who at first is not very like good at decorating I'm only I was only like a good like at um, building the structure of a build but I think I improved a lot since I started to make more videos um, and I'm really happy about that because you know it's something different in my life but anyways we are starting off with the interior already and you see that we are working on the kitchen and you can see that the counters are used that are pink in color I thought I wanted to kind of include a plain color for the counters of the kitchen because I thought that the patterns on the um, walls which is from the snowy escape and the also the pattern of the paneled ones which are the pink ones over here is already too much pattern so I wanted to include something plain for the counters but then when I placed the counters from the city leaving the pink ones just now it really looks like really awkward and just off so I decided to like use the parenthood counters instead because I figured that it kind of looks more cozy and more um like logical because I don't know it kind of looks cozy um but anyways I also added in quite a lot of clutter for this kitchen but I left like two counters free I think but for this build I already play tested it and everything works perfectly fine so you don't have to worry about um your sims not being able to access things because I already play tested it and I can ensure you it works perfectly fine but for the kitchen I left a couple of counters free to ensure that your sims can basically use them and you can see that I put a carpet in the middle but I will be also putting kind of this side table in the middle to make it look like an island quote unquote and I did this because I thought that the um, center part of the kitchen looks kind of empty and I wanted to put in a like island of counters but then when I thought of it like using a counter from the parenthood pack to make it look like an island it's kind of like very space consuming so I decided to use a side table instead and I learned this I mean I got inspired by Miss Simrino because she does the islands using um, quite a lot of times in her builds she used a lot of side tables for the island so I decided to try in this one but anyways for the living room over here it is very cluttered I think um, in my opinion and I really tried to match the items that I used for the clutter with the um, window stains um, to make it look more matching and just really cozy and cohesive with one another so I decided to add in a lot of colors which are kind of this purple and also pink and also turquoise color range um, and I really hope you guys like the living room even though the living room is not really my favorite part of the build I think my favorite part of the build would be the exterior um, and also the bedroom of this build because I think I decorated them um, the two of them the most like pretty well and pretty organized but let me know what you guys think which part of the house is your favorite because I would really like to know that in the comments of course um, but as you can see I played around with the swatches and the couches that I used from the realm of magic pack because at first I didn't know what kind of couches I wanted to use for this build 
So I thought like, why not just use the Realm of Magic one since it's a witch's home? But I wanted to include that side table from the birthday update as well that Hey Harry designed and also um, a lot, I think like the face that was provided as well as the bar stools because I didn't use that one in one of my previous builds um, so I decided to incorporate them in this one but as for the fireplace over here it is the full fireplace that came with the holiday updates um, and yeah I I squeezed in kind of this full fireplace because I put in a chimney at the top if I'm not mistaken I saw that just now um, but I'm pre-recording this quite early because I wanted to get things done and basically move on to the next build um, but yeah, it was kind of last minute actually for me to do this shell challenge, but I think I pulled it off pretty well um, But do let me know what you guys think in the comments of course if you like it But I thought that the living room looked like too cluttered because of the items that I use But I think in the end it looks pretty well managed But anyways, as for this bed bathroom, I decided to use the bathtub that I never used before I'm not sure what pack it's from, but it's kind of like it's kind of like not complete the bathroom I think it's from Strangerville, I'm not so sure but I decided to use that bathtub because I never used it firstly and the second um, is that I figured that since it's a trailer there are not a lot of stuff that are like very like well built so I decided to include that like half complete bathtub in here um, and I think I like the outcome of the bathroom and basically the number of rooms for this build is only one um, bedroom but it can fit up to two sims so you can choose whether to use it for only a single sim or a sim and their partner but basically for this build like i said i wanted i solely focused on the theme that only one sim lives here but you can always increase it but the number of maximum sims that can live here is only two sims um, and yeah, I, I really hope you guys will like it if you download it. But anyways, we are going to move on to the bedroom upstairs. And basically to access this bedroom, your sim has to climb up the stairs that is in the hallway um, downstairs. So I actually wanted to like replace the like grass roof part with an, like a an outdoor balcony or something but i figured that it would be too common to do that so i decided to just stick with the floor plan and do like no like not exterior like not a lot of exterior um sections so i decided to include everything in just one structure that tiara built and i think the bedroom um, is really well decorated because like I said the bedroom and also the exterior are the two favorite parts my favorite parts of this build and I'm in love with the bedroom because I think I decorated it pretty well and I also added in a lot of like plants and those hanging plants from the paranormal stuff pack and I really like that plant and I also paired that hanging plant with the other hanging plant from the nifty knitting stuff pack which comes in three different heights i think one is short one is medium and one is long and i pretty much use the medium sized um hanging plants from the nifty knitting, nifty knitting stuff bag because i wanted to make the bedroom look very very cozy so i thought that the nifty knitting hanging plant would be the perfect item to include because it's made out of like the knitted ones <laughs> but anyways I also managed to add in those lamps that you see on the window and I really love them I really love how it looks over here and it looks very very youthful at the same time as well as cozy and also ended up adding a few spell books that you see next to the triangle couch over here and basically for the triangle couch I added in I think a couple of curtains because I wanted to create this effect that it is a sitting area and also is very comfortable because it has its own curtain so your sim can close and open the curtains whenever they want to but I don't think curtains are like you can close and open curtains in the sims I'm not so sure because I don't usually play the game 
um, in terms of gameplay, but I'm pretty sure that it's not functional if your sim wants to open and close the curtains. I might be wrong though, but if the if if your sim can open and close the curtains, please let me know because I never know that. I mean, I never knew that, and it would be f my first time knowing that. But I really like the effect that I gave it because it kind of looks very very like very youthful and very comfortable and also managed to squeeze in a little calendar over here just to make it look like it's more cozy than it is witchy because i figured that it is a young sim as well who practices magic and as for the back part of the house here you can see that i added in a dining table over here because i couldn't fit it in the interior part of the build but anyways, we are going to be approaching the end of the video soon, so I really hope you guys like this build. If you do like it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and comment if you want to, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!